Last week, sand of the Sahara Desert was blowing over the black forest. At first, I had no idea what was happening. I was just mesmerized by the yellow light that was shining through my window and described it as a scene from an apocalyptic science fiction movie. I felt a little foolish once I figured out the truth. But still, it made me think of how people already imagine and portray our might-be future. I want to ask you a question. What was the last thing you did to live more eco-friendly? I don't mean to call you out, I'm simply curious, for this topic is on my mind very often and has a growing impact on my decision making and how I want to live my life. I dream of living more sustainably and right now my main goal is to further reduce waste. But because this topic is so very huge and everybody seems to have their own take on it, it can be very overwhelming and difficult to figure out where to start, what to do, what is right, what is wrong. I try to allow myself time to adapt and deal with the required breaking of old habits and creating new ones at my own pace. It has been on my mind for quite a while now to change to reusable tissues. But I did not simply want to buy some, because sustainability does not mean buying more, but using what I already have. I also knew that I would find a lot of pleasure in doing it myself anyway, so I waited till I had time and tried to not rush this particular change. I simply carried the wish with me in the back of my mind. I find that one of the most important steps I had to take in the beginning was to raise my awareness and caring towards this issue. Ask myself what I can do, rather than point the finger at others or society. And that sparked my eagerness to change. I am still learning and failing more often than I succeed, but that is alright. Every time I fail, it increases my awareness and hopes to do it better next time. There is always more to be done, changed or improved, but I can't achieve everything overnight. So I just keep this dream of mine in the back of my mind, try to do my best when I can and keep living the pre-dream, because that is enough for now. I am very glad that this week, as my nose was running quite a bit from all the Sahara sand in the air, I finally dealt with the handkerchief situation. And because I am me, I ended up spending even more time on making cute little tissue pocket holders as well. But I know that by putting so much time and effort into this project, I am way more likely to stick with it. And chances are that I won't fall back on more convenient ways to clean my nose.
Everybody is starting from an individual place and with their own pace into this topic. But what an amazing thought and big difference it would make if we would all just care a little. Because a lot of tiny steps can go such a long way. And now I would love to hear from you. Is this something you are concerning yourself with? And what is your take on the matter? I hope that you enjoyed today's video. Take care and I will see you soon. Bye bye.